Let me see if I'm doing this right. I got one view on this. How oh, this work? Oh yeah. This is Clee Anthony right here checking in. My international ground. Shout out to my man D Scott. Just popped in. What's good, bro? I'm about to head to the store, get some Gatorades before this workout. Yeah, I'm in Atlanta right now. Shout out to everybody who's starting to watch. I'm in Atlanta right now. I'm in Georgia. It's open. One of the first cities open, so I got out here. Started training, working out. Appreciate what you're doing with this, D. Scott. Thought it was pretty dope. Just giving the fans opportunities to speak to different people, different players. Seeing Jordan, I ain't in no, no stores going shopping. I'm about to go get some water. For me, staying in shape, I just been on the court. I ain't do too much conditioning. I've been doing a little bit of pickup. Got this little gym in Decatur. It's like a church that I go to. And I go to P3 at the same time. So usually I'm just doing that in between strength and conditioning. Not too much conditioning right now. But all the court work, ball work, handle work, shots. Stand in shape every day, just the basics, you know. We got our little bands and stuff that we do at the crib. Stretching, yoga. For me, I like to focus on everything. So I like each year to come back and be better than I was the past year before and add some element to my game, whether it's creating more opportunities for me off of the dribble or finding teammates and getting my assists higher, being more aware, just different things to challenge myself to get better as a player, rebounds, everything defense, all of those things. I never want to limit my game. We had an overseas experience. It's pretty different, especially than the league. Yeah, you know, everything's real different. Everything's real official and exclusive. Overseas is probably more of a grind where there probably isn't as many staff members, so there isn't as many trainers, there isn't as many people in the in like the rooms where you can go get treatment. So like learning how to manage those things on your own. Making sure that you're well stretched, prepared. Some teams have trainers, some teams don't. Just having all of your stuff with you, all of your gear. I mean, it's still a great experience. It's still amazingly fun. And it's professional basketball, but the NBA just has a different level of finance to really provide to each team, each player that provides you a certain type of like luxury that overseas doesn't have 
some teams do, maybe closer in the Europe and things like that. But a lot of teams aren't on that level of like professionalism or organization as far as the NBA and those 30 plus teams overseas is a grind. Overseas is funny, it's one hell of an experience. There's different places. Some people probably have more bad experiences. I have some pretty dope experiences, some pretty good experiences. I played in Japan. I played in Japan and Saudi Arabia. And in both those countries, it was pretty good. Pretty crazy, but pretty good at the same time. So I had fun. My favorite moment, honestly, probably this year, we went to the championship game. We lost. It was me and Dante Green. Shout out to my man from the Qs. So we played together this year. He was another NBA player. And I mean, it was real fun. We lost, but it was just a hell of an experience to see the people, the fans really come together, support us and rally behind us to try to get that win. Oh, no, nah, I'm good. I'm from New York. You know I know how to cross the street. I know how to cross, Brody. My, I mean, I only played in two countries overseas, so as far as the countries that I did play in, it was only uh, Saudi Arabia and uh, Japan. And I like both of them. Both of them I would go back to. Both of them was fun. I definitely want to experience more countries in different countries right now, but... Those two countries were amazing. Those were fun. They were very peaceful. Good people, good fans. The hardest adjustment, I would say, is just sometimes, like, you there by yourself. You there dolo, you know? So you just got to really be cool with that. Some people, it drives them crazy not being able to be around loved ones or their friends and stuff like that. And the first year was like, woo, it was tough. I flew my trainer out. I flew one of my boys out. So you gotta just make sure you find ways to keep your brain active and fresh and locked in. As far as the pandemic, What's going on for next year? There's a couple of teams, a couple of offers that I got. People just talking. But as far as contracts and where I want to be officially, I don't know. It's too much going on to fully make that decision right now. But I'll probably do that in a couple of weeks, maybe in a month, maybe less, maybe more. I mean, for me, I had a long path. So the kids that's coming up, taking my path as far as prep school. I went to junior college then I transferred before I actually got drafted. I just would suggest them to just be resilient. So yeah. My bad we got disconnected but I just suggest that y'all just keep working hard, stay resilient and know what you want. I mean it don't matter what anybody else thinks or the situation that you're in right now. Just keep working hard. There's a lot of people that create opportunities for themselves that you would have never thought just out of just wanting it and kind of putting themselves in the right position by doing the right things. The language barrier sometimes is a problem, but it just depends on where you're at. I've heard it has been for some people I've had translators, the countries I was in, I was in Tokyo, Saudi Arabia, I was in Jeddah. They had a lot of people who spoke English, so it wasn't that hard for me to adjust and really get what I needed when I needed it. So the language barrier wasn't too crazy for me. It was never really anything. 
but not everyone speaks English. There's a couple of different times when I was in Saudi, the people came up to me speaking Arabic, but usually we, we like, they realize that I don't speak it, and they're, they're pretty cool. They've been pretty cool. I mean, being away from home, I've been away from home, you know, since 15, 16. I moved upstate to the boondocks out of the city. I was away from home and I went to school up there. Everybody else was in the city. Then I had left and went to prep school, Mount Zion Christian Academy in Durham, North Carolina. Then I came back to New York. But I still wasn't home. I was close enough. So being away from home, I'm used to it. Because, I mean, whenever I do want to see my family I miss my family luckily we in positions to be able to fly them out or go there when there is a break and spend that time you know my favorite college moment was it at Sullivan or Wichita I don't I don't think it was like one or the other I don't want to choose I had some great moments at Wichita I had some great moments at Sullivan, like both of those places we really put on. And it was a great experience in both of those because it was like to get National Player of the Year both years and the way we had the school wraps up. One of my best boyfriends, boy, my nigga Jordan, he be balling, he be out there, he rap now, that nigga is out here. I just feel like it's just, it was a great experience in that Wichita. All of my bros, all of my boys, we was just killing. And the way that went, first year Final Four, next year, and to see what they're doing in their careers, all of those, all of those was just very fun experience. I can't choose. I had some great moments at both. It was, it was too lit. Like what you tell? I had some really great moments. You know. But I did that sound of as well. What keeps me going and pushing through those barriers and obstacles? I mean, life, I feel when you have a goal, you understand that adversity is a part of achieving your goal and a part of the path to success. So, I mean, when you do face those obstacles, you're not supposed to break because you're supposed to keep pushing. That's the only way you're going to really make it to your destination just being mindful of that and aware of that the obstacles and distractions and adversity ain't nothing major you know so just absorb that energy and take it with you and kind of turn it into more motivation to do what you do to be who you want to be Appreciate that. I mean, when I'm overseas, I try to do as much as I can to see the city and to spare some time. Because we got nothing but time. We in the gym twice a day. Then we really just cooling. That's a lot of time we get to spend to ourselves. So, I mean, exploring the city is definitely something I always try to do first. Get to know different people. They show you different spots, different monuments, different landmarks. You go to see different stores, different restaurants, you know, trying different foods, the high-key ones, the low-key ones. So I think it's pretty cool. I pretty much would do everything that I would try over here, over there. I wouldn't limit myself. I watch a lot of movies. 
I even started getting into writing movies and having different ideas in that nature. So, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, they all been my best friends. I read some books. I'll be trying different shit, I'll be trying to meditate. I need to pick up a video game on her. All the new games out here is pretty lit. So I might start doing that. Well, yeah, man, this is pretty dope. Next time they should have somebody come up going live with me. Start talking, maybe a little bit more interviews type setup. Well, this is pretty cool. Chat with y'all for a little bit. Probably gonna lose service, so I'm gonna wrap it up in a little bit. I appreciate y'all coming on, asking some questions, getting with me. It's hot outside. Let me see if I scroll through here, see if I missed anything. Miss any questions. Appreciate you. Fire drill. It was good, Meech. He was in here. Do good products, that's a fact. Yeah, I pretty much got everything. Appreciate the people that came through. These guys, this is lit. Have fun. Yeah, man. This whole thing is fun. Just gotta keep working hard, making the most of it, being smart, saving what you earn. Enjoying what you earn. Using this basketball thing as a vehicle. Take you to destinations, take you to places you ain't never expect to think you would see. Doing things you never thought you'd do. You know, just being able to live that dream has been awesome. Get into the NBA, potentially being able to get back. Working hard, staying in shape, being in the position to feed myself and my family. It's all great news. It's all a blessing. Appreciate you allowing me to share my story and keep up with my fans. Appreciate y'all coming on here.